Today we will discuss one very simple but important concept. Let's say we have an object. So we know how to access its individual properties using the dot notation. For example, tweet list dot profile will list to this 8000 value. But do you also know that we can access this object properties using dynamically using the square bracket notation. This is extremely powerful and can be very handy in very different use case. For example, inside the square bracket, we can pass as a variable. This will open a plethora of the box. These values we can retrieve from some input box or from API to access this object properties. For example, in the name we got like profile, we can return 8000 into the follower and it, the combination can be printed. You know, if let's say that the key is not present, not available, so this tweet list won't lead to any error. It will just return the undefined. Okay. Now, now let's see that example in action. For example, here we have the same object like which, which contain this key value pairs. And here let's, for example, we define this name as profile and we try to access these values and print it. So in this case, profile has 8,000 follower. Instead of profile, if you try to print Steve, so Steve has 5,000 plus followers, right? If you have some undefined name, some random values we retrieve, it won't throw the error that is very important but it will it will return this undefined into the followers okay so the square bracket using that we can access you know dynamic data dynamic values so hope you learned something today have a good day ahead bye bye